Hello watching news first prime I am Rahul Dayan yet another episode of unveiling the history of Namo Bengaluru here we are here today at the Victoria Hospital which is a 124 year old hospital which has got its own history and along with great service to the mankind so this place is a great combination of humanitarian service healthcare and history so let's unveil the great history of Namo Victoria Hospital in Namo Uru Bengaluru The foundation stone for this great structure was laid on 22nd of June 1897 by the that time Maharani of Mysore Rani Kempananjamani So this place was established to serve the poor people and to provide them with hi-fi healthcare facility and it was scheduled to be opened on 1900 but one unfortunate incident which took place in bengaluru forced this hospital to be reopened or opened before the scheduled date so i'll tell you about that unfortunate incident which just not just struck bengaluru but also the other parts of namo bengaluru So the foundation stone for this great structure was laid way back in the year 1897 on 22nd of June by the that time Maharani of Mysore Rani Kempananjamani who was the mother of Krishna Raj Wadiyar but it was scheduled to be opened on the year 1900 but one unfortunate incident forced the opening of this hospital way before its scheduled date that was in the year 1897 in the year 1897 there was a great plague epidemic which was outbroken in bengaluru so that was a time when this hospital was being constructed but was not co fully completed so the administrators decided to reopen this to open this building uh, even though it was not fully completed and that time in the year 1897 this served as a major zone for the treatment of plague affected patients for namo bengaluru and other parts of bengaluru So after the plague epidemic was treated successfully in the year 1897 for a lot of patients and after the complete completion of this hospital in the year 1900 the viceroy of India that time viceroy of India Lord Curzon inaugurated this hospital in the year 1900 and it was named after Queen Victoria because 60 years of Victoria's rule was successfully completed in Britain at that time so this hospital got the name Victoria Hospital So initially it was started as a 100 bed hospital but in the year 1924 uh, by the great and generous donation by Sir K V Puttana Chetty the hospital's bed tally rose from 100 to 134 So he donated so much of money that this bed tally was increased from 100 to 134 that is 34 beds inclusive of the total wards in Victoria Hospital So this pure British styled architectural hospital uh, was one of its first to receive the first ever telephonic connection in Karnataka. In fact it was in the year 1897 where the plague had struck so badly to Bengaluru and other parts of the country. So that time uh, the telephone connection connection from Namo Bengaluru to Madras province was established so that the outpatients and the inpatients and the number of patients getting discharged being treated all such statistics and information were passed on to the madras province so victoria hospital is the first ever telephonic connection or the place with the first ever telephonic connection was established in karnataka so there is one more first which serves as a feather in the cap of victoria hospital's laurels is that there was dr t shesha chalam who was the that time superintendent of victoria hospital and he was the first doctor to observe the accessory artery which was connecting the appendicitis so that appendicitis condition in that condition this artery was bleeding so even today that artery has been named after him as the artery of shesha chalam one more milestone achievement in the service of victoria hospital is that in the year 1981 there was a serious fire outbreak in the winner circus company so that time 119 patients were at a time treated in victoria hospital and even today the burn section of the victoria hospital is renowned and is well facilitated with equipments to treat 
extreme burn conditions or patients with extreme burns. And yes, with a great generosity and with a combination of great medical minds in our country, Victoria Hospital has been serving mankind as a beacon of great hope and light since 1900. And next year, this great structure is celebrating its 125th year anniversary and hoping to you know, meet more medical needs and cure more patients in Bengaluru. So this building, which is a historical significance for Nama Bengaluru, is still strong and is still you know, available for the service of mankind. With camera person Manju Hoskote, this is Rahul Dayan for News First Prime, Bengaluru.